Hey guys, Juno the Dime here. So I wanted to make this video about freezer cooking, mainly because I'm super obsessed with it and it's so easy. The benefits are it's super easy to just pull something out of the freezer and cook it. You don't have to think about it. Um, as well as it's a lot less work and cleanup. You're kind of using and dirtying pans all at one time. So you just have one giant cleanup day and then you get to enjoy the benefits of the food for a long time. This is kind of my system and how I freezer cook. What I start off with is my crock pot meals. Um, and I got all these crock pot meals off of Pinterest. So here you can see that I just like grabbed all the meals that I wanted and I printed them out. And what I do once I've gathered all my meals is I plan to go to the store. I make a spreadsheet of all of the different ingredients that the recipe calls for and then the number that I'm going to need. But then I can just store this entire packet like with my recipe collection with like all the recipes and information. So if I want to do this like 16 meal plan again, I can just pull it out and take it to the store. And another thing that makes this really worthwhile for me are the Ziploc slider bags. Um, these are originally $3 each. You need the freezer gallon bags. Um, and these were buy one, get one free, so $1.50. Plus I had a dollar off two coupons. So these were only $1 per box, which is really good. So I stocked up and got four boxes. Okay, so I pretty much prepped everything I'm about to cook, and the first step that I did was I took my 16 gallon bags and I labeled them with exactly what's going inside. I put what's in there, the date, as well as all the directions, so I don't have to do anything special when I go to cook this. Okay, so it took me about an hour or so, but I chopped up everything and I opened up all the cans and now for the second hour of work I'm going to put it in the bags while awesome Charlie over here is going to be doing some cooking on the stove top. So about 30 minutes have passed and I went through and I added all of the vegetable ingredients as well as onions, um, basically anything but the meat. So I'm going to go through and add the meat to each of the bags and then seal them and we'll be ready to go. While I was filling up the bags with the veggies and the um, wet ingredients, Charlie was cooking this. It's just generic um, chuck with some onions and then there's some shredded carrots mixed in. So we're also going to bag up this and this will be part of the meal. So the initial 10 meals have been bagged up and meat has been mixed in. I'm just laying them flat and we're going to stick them into the deep freezer flat like this so they freeze flat and then we can kind of stack them up almost like a file system so you can just like grab out what you need. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these in the freezer and we're going to work on bagging the last six bags. So the beef has cooled and I just put it into the two freezer bags so I'm going to go pop these in the deep freezer. Might as well show you guys our deep freezer. Okay so there's the meals lying flat that we just cooked and I'm going to take the browned meat and put it right there. So I just took the water from the um, chicken that we boiled the chicken in. That was like another thing that Charlie was working on. So we're going to have shredded chicken frozen for salads and sandwiches and all that jazz. But I took the water it was boiled in and put it in ice cube trays. So we're going to freeze this so we have chicken stock for when we need it. Or broth, I guess. So this might seem like a weird thing to show, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how much how much mess all of this cooking created. So these are all the pans that we used. Um, and some of these dishes were actually left in here from earlier this morning. So in terms of the mess, it's really not too bad. I mean, we have to clean out some big pots. We need to wipe down the countertop. But effectively, we're saving ourselves a bunch of time with mess cleanup by cooking all at once because we use 
dishes multiple times like this cooked two different um, ground chucks etc so it really isn't so bad plus a lot of this stuff can go directly in the dishwasher and this is the last thing I wanted to show you guys. Since all of these recipes are crock pot recipes, to save yourself time on the day that you actually put it in the crock pot, getting these slow cooker liners, as you can see, they like go on the inside of the crock pot so you don't have to wash it out. Um, these are amazing. It makes for basically zero cleanup, um, so your recipe is actually as maintenance free as it needs to be. Right, Luna? Is it maintenance free? Are you maintenance free? Say no, I'm not maintenance free. I take a lot of work. I take a lot of work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please leave a comment down below if you have any awesome freezer um, cooking recipes that you like to use or um, just if you've tried this method and you want to like share any tips and tricks that you have. I'm always looking for new easy recipes, especially crock pot ones. Those are like my ultimate favorite. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.